My name is Gísli Gíslason. I'm a helicopter pilot for Reykjavik helicopters. And my main job now is show people the eruption. Since I was about uh, six years old, uh, it was my dream to be a helicopter pilot. My uncle was a captain in the, in the Coast Guard and he was always in the news. So it was always my dream to be a helicopter pilot. But it took a long time. I finished my training in 1997. It took me more than 10 years to get paid job. At that time, it was only three months a year that we had some tourists here and it was only one helicopter private, uh, but it's totally different now. Now it's probably 10 to 15 helicopter here and more easy to get a job. But to get the first job is always difficult because if you don't have any experience, nobody's gonna hire you and you don't get any experience if you don't have a job. So it's uh, difficult. My whole family comes uh, from Westmaland and all my family is fishermen or something related to fish. And I knew uh, to get uh, uh, easy money, or not easy, at least a lot of money on short time, it was to be a fisherman. So I went to, uh, for navigation college for two years, and uh, when I was uh, learning, I was also as a crew member on a trawler, small trawler, fishing trawler here in Iceland. I was always dreaming about helicopter. Uh, also, I was kind of seasick if I stayed more than three or four days at home. So I never loved the job, but uh, I loved the crew and it paid well. And yeah, but it was never a question. I wanted to be a helicopter pilot. That was always the dream. And I'm so glad it worked out finally, but it took 10 years to get paid job. For the first years, I was driving with fuel, cleaning the helicopter, and just to, to be around the pilots, to learn from them. And then I got the opportunity to fly a little bit with them. And yeah, but it was not many hours in the beginning, but then when the eruption started 2010 in Eyjafjallajökull, then I got the opportunity to be an observer or co-pilot on a big helicopter. And then I realized I just have to, this was my dream. Yeah, my first flight, uh, yeah, it was kind of intrusion to the flight and it only took 20 minutes or so. And then I realized this was what I wanted to do. do. And I had some car and I just immediately went out and sold him. And that car lasted for three hours in the helicopter. And and then I just started and, and started my goal to be a commercial helicopter pilot. Now we are busy all year round. And even in the winter month, we are really busy. And like now we are doing heli skiing from Mars to June. That was not before. And that is a big part of the year, big part of the flight time. And that's really fun job to do the heli skiing. That's my favorite now. I'm not good enough skiers, but I love to be around these guys. Yeah, I always, what, are you sure you're gonna go there? <laughs> But on the same time, they think I'm crazy when I'm flying. <laughs> we take part of a lot of Hollywood films and also a lot of uh, just actors come and visit the island. And that's really nice. And also for heli skiing, a lot of yeah, famous people coming. I spent two days with Tom Cruise and he is a helicopter pilot also. So we had a lot to talk about. Uh, he's a really cool guy and good pilot. Yeah, we was hanging out for two days. That was really nice. My favorite landing spot in Iceland is definitely Tritrangar Lighthouse. It's, uh, it's a tiny little helipad. Oh on a tiny little rock 
uh, just outside of Westmanaland. Uh, it's really challenging to land there, but also really cool. It's yeah, definitely my favorite landing spot. In the beginning, uh, we went there with some workers that was going to paint the lighthouse. And then I made some video there that got viral. And after that, a lot of photographers want to go there. So I've been yeah, many times there with a photographer that want to see this. And it's pretty cool. Only go there when the conditions are perfect. Because, yeah, and normally I don't shut down there if it would not start. I want to, don't want to be stuck there. <laughs> I don't have numbers how many times I've been to the eruption, but very... And twice I have seen the eruption starting, a new crater. First at Fimmerhals, then they had uh, one crater. And next to the crater started a new crater when I was 2010. And it's unique to see it start. And then on the second day of Eastern, uh, two years ago, then I saw another crater opening. And I talked to Magnus Thume and he said, it's only few people in the world that have seen it happen. And I've seen it twice. So I'm hoping it will start again somewhere near Kalir, maybe three times. <laughs> <laughs> I started my Instagram, my daughter, she is really good marketing and we were talking about we wanted all tourists to a helicopter flight here in Iceland just to see our amazing nature and we started with this uh, Instagram and she suggested my life as a helicopter pilot and it kind of yeah, it was getting bigger and bigger. And when I was flying with some famous and he, he attacked me, then suddenly I got 1,500 uh, people from Brazil that have never been here. So yeah, it went pretty big. Yeah, and yeah, I think I am doing okay there to let people know how beautiful Iceland is. And then I'm showing all my favorite parts of Iceland, Landmannalaugar. Westmanaland, Jökos alone, all the most beautiful parts. And of course, uh, I'm privileged, uh, I can visit all this place and normally I can land wherever if it's not private land or national park. So it's a lot of pretty cool place where you can have land landed. Sometimes I get uh, yeah, crazy ideas uh, from customer. One customer was uh, wanted to go out from the heli in a wingsuit over the volcano. Uh, but I said no with that <laughs> request. But uh, normally people are really happy what we are doing. I'm afraid of heights, so I fly rather low. I don't want to fly too high, then I get afraid. And we fly pretty close to the eruption. For example, if you open the window, you can kind of feel the heat. If you want to be a helicopter pilot, I always say if this is your biggest, biggest, biggest dream, do it. If it's just job you want, then I would not do it. It's really struggling to get the first job. And you really have to have the passion to do it all the way. And it, take, it might take some years and don't get any salary for two, three years when, while you are collecting hours. So it's, it's struggling. You're not doing this uh, for money, definitely not.
I really love my job. Uh, normally, in the morning when we are going to the eruption, I am excited, probably more excited than the passenger. See if something has changed, will we see something new? It's always something new you will see. It's just how the light is. It's, yeah, I still really love my job.